tracking the tropics. When talking about the tropics, you may have heard the first alert storm team mention tropical waves coming off the coast of Africa that can eventually develop into tropical cyclones. Meteorologist Caroline Carruthers has a look at how and why this happens. Well, first off, tropical waves form in Africa because we get northeasterly winds north of the equator and southeasterly winds south of the equator that meet in Central Africa. And when those wind flows come together, uh, they converge on one another and produce a favorable environment for a lift to form the thunderstorms that eventually become the tropical waves. Once the tropical wave forms in Africa, it moves over the Atlantic. This happens when the hot, dry air from the Saharan Desert mixes with the cooler, moist air from the rainforest to form a band of strong wind called the African Easterly Jet. This pushes these waves into the Atlantic. So when they emerge out over the ocean, over the tropical Atlantic, if they can get enough organization, then uh, they'll develop into tropical cyclones. Many of the disturbances that we see in the Atlantic actually start off in Africa as tropical waves, including the one we're tracking right now. In Mobile, meteorologist Caroline Carruthers, WKRG News 5.